Well, uh, when I was a senior in college, a bunch of uh, a bunch of my friends sort of road tripped out during uh, winter break to Sundance, and and we didn't know how it all worked, but we ended up volunteering because if you volunteered, you could get you know in to see some some uh, some screenings, and you know we didn't have a lot of money, so that was a sort of the the best way to do it, and it was sort of a fun social experience. So we all came out here, and I came out. It's funny, I, I, I met, I brought out um, Ed Helms, who was a friend of mine in college, uh, who's now an actor, came out, and this other guy named Dave Wharton came out, and then we all hung around, and all of us are back this year. Dave is actually working with uh, uh, ABC News, and Ed is in a movie called Manure, and then I have this movie, 500 Days of Summer. You know, I, I had always, from a very young age, just messed around with a camera. It's just, I think, part of my DNA. And and um, it's funny because I wasn't as addicted to music in the same way I was to movies. And when I came out to Los Angeles, I didn't have MTV growing up. You know, my parents were not into cable TV, and uh, we music videos just sort of naturally happened. I, I was actually working as an editor, and. Um, I did some behind the scenes stuff and then this opportunity to, came up to make a video and, and, and it just sort of went from there. So I, I guess I consider myself more of a, a filmmaker uh, but, and the and music video thing sort of evolved and blossomed over a few years and then, then, but I feel, you know, making the first feature film is, is, is an extension of the same sort of DNA. <laughs> I, it, I, it's a good question. I mean, I had done some narrative videos, and uh, I think that they, there was a there was a sort of relation between the script and the sort of whimsy of the script, and I think the the tone of some of my videos. There's a lot of split screen work and and um, sort of gaggery and trickery and stuff, and, and a lot of that plays in 500 Days of Summer. And but I I think that ultimately you'd have to ask them. But the, the it was to me the story was. The big thing, and it wasn't really about visuals, and um, or at least not primarily. And um, the the uh, uh, the process of, of I tried really hard to make it a, a legitimate, organic film, and not make it about you know moments about a shot. You know what I mean? And and I think music video directors have sort of a bad rap sometimes for being purely visual. And clearly, given the history of great people, directors that have come out of music videos, that there can be other things at play there, and I think there are, um, but it was, we were, I tried to make a concerted effort to make it about the story.